breaking news this morning, Gabon military joint at Deze Kowas and AU reviews date to sway in Nguema as president. Oh boy. This military I not be smart, you know. And if Ecowas and AU know say they're strong, may them go there, go tell them not to not to uh swear in their new military president. Yeah? You can't stop them. The guys want a change of government and they have done it. We are waiting for other countries to follow suit as well. The coup leaders in Gabon have said that the country's new strongman, General Bryce Nguema, would be sworn in as the transitional president on Monday, September 4, at the Constitutional Court. As revealed by the spokesman of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions, Yurich Mofumbi, Manfumbi, on Friday, August 31st, Nguema would face in uh, traditional institutions. Mm. In a live broadcast, Urich disclosed that all general secretary, secretaries, ministerial offices, director generals, and officials of state services have been directed to ensure in the immediate future the effective resumption of work and continuity of the function of all public services. The coup leaders noted that the African nation will respect all its commitments at home and abroad. Okay, the spokesman said that Nguema would like to reassure all donors, development partners, as well as state creditors that all provisions will be taken um, to guarantee respect for our country's commitment, both externally and internally. Hmm. Yurich did not review the duration of the transitional uh, institutions. The announcement uh, announcements are coming just a day after President Ali Bongo was removed from office forcefully. That is it. The guys are determined to bring change to Gabon. Okay. And the, just like we were asking, AU and ECOWAS are just making noise there. The question is what is causing this military takeover in some countries? What is leading to it? The guys, these guys are bringing the changes <coughs> and the gov turn around the governance that politics can, could not do, that people's vote could not do. Okay. And then all these, uh, per perennial heads of state also need to be removed and the uh, institute original democracy. And that is the truth. Unfortunately, um, all these old men too, they are not fighting for the interest of African countries, all these African uh, president. They are fighting because they don't know whose turn it is next for military to humiliate in their countries. Exactly. Now, all eyes have been on other countries in West Africa after coup uh, was done in Niger. But unfortunately, the coup again repeated itself in Central Africa instead of West Africa. So all these ECOWAS president, AU president, they never can tell whose next, whose next turn it will be, whose next will their, um, their military overtake and then throw out. That is it. And right now, what this AU and ECOWAS presidents are doing is looking words into their military to ascertain their loyalty and then reorganize them where necessary. That's what they're trying to do now. Because they are, until they recognize them, they might still continue to have the inner caucus meeting and planning something that is uh, uh, that is not that will not be condoled by the sitting president. Okay, so it's a very very challenging one. But the guys in the, in Gabon are serious about their business. Okay, they are they have announced Monday, fourth of September, as the day to swear in their new military president, Bryce Nguema. <laughs> Not be smart, you know. Hmm. And I can see, uh, since this thing happened in Niger, I mean, uh, in uh, Gabon, you see how the Gabonese are jubilating, they are jumping around, they are happy, they are just very, very happy. This, it's like this military became the voice of the voiceless, because that means that they have been bearing it, it they were already tired, but they just were helpless and they could not stop the the elongation of tenor by the Bongo's family, both the Uma Bongo and the Ali Bongo. 
okay so there are a few comments here and reactions here to the plan and the timelines that the gabon juntas have lined out on how they are going to sway in their new president and how they are going to run the transition government okay so what is the politics changing their country's constitution okay politicians changing their country's constitution to suit their personal interest is also a coup exactly and that is what is leading to a military coup in nigeria and in so most so many countries the constitution is interpreted upside down even by the judiciary just to satisfy their selfish interest and that they cannot be here anymore they can't be here anymore okay so as the nigerian politicians have taught them sense of re reorganizing their military uh in cameroon rwanda and uganda so don't expect much but what kind of democratic system are they what kind of democratic system are they practicing hmm what do you call and gabon again gabon is not in a it's it's central africa and that is correct both military and civilians in africa has the same mentality take abacha babangida as examples which one is better none in all these I blame INEC lawyers and your judiciary that had compromised just because of small change. If these set of people could take their stand and the masses stood by them, things would be better. But the masses are not serious too. Okay, until we stand up for our right, nothing good will come out from both military and civilians. That's what this guy is saying. A man whose family has uh, dominated the nation's seat of power for over 55 years come on the military guys have to bring that evil dynasty to an end or else gabon will remain in the dark forever don't forget at least father ruled and the baton for i uh, was passed over to ali himself he also ruled seven years of uh, two terms and changed the constitution to rule for another seven years in a third term fraudulent arrangement you can't call that a democracy. Indeed, some people are crazy and all African leaders are crazy as well. All African leaders are crazy in power and that is very, very bad. Okay, so I see a level of corruption uh, too, way, too way too high. Okay, these coups are all justifiable, but these soldiers aren't deal decided, decides decidedly with the politicians by now those of them caught and found guilty would have been shot exactly to send a proper warning to countries like nigeria Ivory Coast, ghana togo cameroon Benin republic okay that then mean business okay that they mean business or are they taking power to look to there is no will of purpose yet hmm be fast about it, please, and the remaining African countries should say no to corrupt government for better development. Okay, and that is it. That This is unfortunate. This general is part and parcel of the carcass that has been milking Gabon's resources. Hmm, time will tell. That is just where people are getting skeptical about the general that is taking over uh, Gabon. Relation regards will not have peace in Africa, and that is exactly what we are seeing. So, uh, the new the military junta in Gabon, they are ready to sway in uh, Bryce Nguema as the new president of Gabon, transitional president of Gabon by Monday, September 4th. So, thank you for listening, and let's have your comment in reaction to this as well. <laughs>